Buckle up, hold your biscuits, and grab your coffee, because it's time for this week's Identity Check, where we talk about who God is, who He says we are, and how those truths change the way we live our lives, because when you know who God is, you know who He has made you to be. That's right. All right, what is this week's Identity Check, Rebecca? Well, you're going to be so surprised, because I we we are still talking about how God is faithful. <gasps> are you shocked? Shocker. No. <laughs> and so God is faithful, and we are forgiven. That's right. And so in light of these truths, we can bring our brokenness to God. Mm, yes, yes, in. There's a verse about this. There is I'm in gonna 1 read it John. 1 John 1, 9. It says, but if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. That's right. When you come into a relationship with Jesus, mm -hmm. he forgives you of your sins, past sins and even our future sins. Yeah, and coming into a relationship with Jesus, I mean, I was really struggling with some sins in my life. Sins like eating disorder and lying and gossip and all the stuff that comes along with that. Yeah, and I used to struggle a lot with perfectionism and pride and a whole lot of doubt. But the good thing is that God forgives us of all of those things. Yes, and the thing to remember in all of this is just because you come into a relationship with Jesus doesn't mean you're going to get it right all the time. Like, right. you're still going to struggle. You're still going to mess up. Up, you're still going to sin. But when you know Jesus and when you accept him as Lord and Savior of your life, you receive the Holy Spirit. And there's this really awesome thing about the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit comes conviction. Right. And when you respond to that conviction with confession to God, he responds with his grace. And grace cleanses us and makes us look more like Jesus. That's right. As always, we would love to hear your identity mm -hmm. check. So comment below. And if you want to know more about a relationship with God, which is what we really hit home today and talking about how a relationship with God helped us overcome our sins and helps us receive God's grace for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know more about that, go to lanaroses.com forward slash faith. This is Abby and Rebecca helping you remember who God is and who he says you are. We hope that you feel encouraged to live out your true identity in Christ this week. Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca Perryman and I'm the executive director here at Lane of Roses. Thank you so much for watching our identity check video. So I grew up in church my whole life and I remember hearing this phrase, identity in Christ and truly like saying like I knew what it meant and having no idea what it meant. And so that is really what inspired these identity check videos and the identity check journal. Every Monday our staff sits down and we do identity checks together. But we want you to really know and understand what it means to have your identity in Christ. And so if you want to know more about having your identity in Christ, go ahead and check out the video right over here. It's going to just give you some insight from God. God's word from the Bible about what it means to have your identity in Christ and just some steps to, to help you get there. And just remember, we're all in process. No one at Lane of Roses is an expert on this, but we are here to help you explore faith. And we just want to engage with you and give you as many resources as we can for you to feel equipped to do that. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the Lane of Roses YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all things Elena Roses.